Hello foxes, it's another great day, and I've got another great guide for you too. Today we're going to talk about the last boss in Song of the Elves, Fragment of Seren. If you like my stuff, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. It all helps me grow. Thank you. Okay, she's actually pretty cool looking, and though she may seem hard, her mechanics are quite easy. So let's jump in. Stats, gear, and inventory. I'm 99 total combat, with 78 magic, 71 prayer, and 81 hit points. I did go in with my health a little low from obstacles getting here. I'm wearing my Dark Mystic Hat, Obsidian Cape, Amulet of Fury, a Holy Blessing, a Trident of the Swamp fully charged, a Dark Mystic Top, Bottom, and Boots, Pharaoh's Gloves, and a Lunar Ring. Note that you should use a Major Arena or Major Arena 2 cape for this. I hadn't done it yet, so I just went ahead and used my Obby cape. I brought Ceridoman Brews, 4 Anglerfish, 8 Mana Rays, 4 Super Restores, and an Osha Teleport to my house. There are 4 phases. Phase 1. During this phase, she will do a melee and ranged attack, so it's recommended to keep your distance from her and pray from range the entire fight. Praying won't negate all of her attack, but it helps. In this phase, she will pull you into her, and as soon as she does, run a few steps back and continue to attack her, avoiding her melee attacks. Phase 2. She'll disappear and reappear with copies surrounding you. All you need to do is attack the lightest colored one, and if you're using rune light, it will tell you which one this is. As soon as you hit the correct one, she will disappear along with all her copies and reappear with the same melee ranged attack she does in phase 1. Keep your distance and wait for phase 3. Phase 3. This is the healing phase. You will spawn 2 to 4 crystal beams that heal her for small amounts. They require 1 hit to disappear so make sure to prioritize these. You can bring a switch like the blowpipe for quicker DPS to down these but it's not necessary. Once this phase ends she will again go back to her melee ranged attacks from phase 1. Phase 4. This is by far the worst phase only because she'll pull you in, you can't run so don't try, and will hit you for your maximum health minus one. So it's imperative during this phase you're healed to full health or overhealed with bruise or angler fish. Boss fight. Make sure your run is toggled on and have your prayer page open. As soon as you enter, turn on prey range and switch to your inventory. Click on the fragment as soon as you see her. When she pulls you in, just take a couple steps back and start attacking her again. When she disappears, she'll reappear with copies. Target the lightest colored one or rune light will target her for you if you're using it. She'll disappear with the copies and reappear. Attack her like normal. Soon healing beams will appear. Attack them once, then attack her again. Keep your health close to full and hover over your Ceridoman brew or anglerfish as she's about to pull you in where you can't move and deal heavy damage. As soon as she pulls you in, eat the food to max health or over healing. When she does the massive damage, use brews or mana rays to quickly get your health back up. Then it's rinse and repeat time. Tips and tricks. I try not to use any bruise or food until phase 3, the healing phase, as she won't do enough damage to kill you until after phase 3. Also, after you eat or drink, remember to always click on her. If you're getting her mechanics down fine, but are having a hard time with the amount of DPS, I do suggest upgrading to the Trident of the Swamp. If I were to run this again, I would also consider tick eating for after phase 4 to reduce downtime. Don't worry too much about wasting a super restore to heal your depleted stats, doing more damage outweighs the waste. If after all this is still proving difficult, I suggest leveling your magic and HP, as most of the videos I saw had their health above 100 when downing her. Hope this helps, thanks for watching.